guys welcome back to another video today we're gonna to be doing another fly tying video a lot of you guys seem to like the tying videos even if they are just simple patterns today I'm gonna to be tying a micro worm tungsten jig just like the last video the green weenie this fly pattern is really good for like if you're just searching new water or the specific one that I'm gonna to tie today is like uh, very heavy so you can use it to get down to the bottom of like deep runs or you can use it in high water I mean you using clear water tie it with a smaller bead tie it in smaller sides all that too but today we're going to be tying a, a bigger one that I like to use for higher water and like I said deeper runs before we get into all that though I do have two announcements to make one is we're going to be doing another giveaway here soon on the channel I reached out to a company and I asked them basically if they wanted to sponsor a video basically what we came up with was if I buy one of their products that I reached out to them about they'd send me two other ones to give away I have those in. I just want to basically get out on the water and use the product first, and then I'm gonna put out a review for that product. In that video, we'll be doing a, the giveaway and the announcement of like how you enter or whatever. So stay tuned for that video in the future. And the second announcement is I'm gonna be starting a new fly tying series. And for this series, I want you guys to send an email to the email that I'll put on the screen here now. And basically all you have to do is just send me a materials list of any fly tying materials you can leave a description of how you want the fly tied or whatever too but uh, I'd like for maybe to be more like just random so you just give me like random materials and what I'll do is once I get that list of materials I'll sit down here at the the vise and basically I have to use all of those materials and just come up with a fly uh, whatever I think the fly should look like based on that material list so it'll be like on the spot random and then I'll just tie the fly once I tie it or whatever, I'll probably send out the fly to whoever sent in that material list. So go ahead and send me emails for material lists and I will start making videos as soon as I get submissions for that. That's it for announcements, so let's go ahead and get into tying this fly. Okay, so to start off here, the materials you're gonna need for this fly are, again, you're gonna use the red six aught thread. You could use eight aught as well. I just have six aught red, so that's what I'm using. And I'm using micro pink chenille in this video but you could also use like a smaller, I, I just like to use the uh, micro chenille because it, it flows around I think in the water a little bit better. And in this video, I'm gonna use a size 10 Orient Sun 5240 hook and a size 3.8 millimeter copper tungsten bead slotted. And just like in the last video with the green weenie, there's not very many materials here. So it's a quick and super effective and super simple tie. And you can you know, tie a bunch of these within minutes. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we're gonna start by getting our size 10 Orient Sun 5240 in the vise upside down here. And then like always, we'll just put our bead on we're just putting this in the vise upside down. So it's just easier to get the bead on and then flip it over. Uh, this, this helps out a lot when it's smaller sizes like 18 or 16, but I'm just in such a habit of doing it. I do it with all the hooks and beads now. So go ahead and secure your hook in the vise there. And we're gonna be using red thread again. So we're gonna go ahead and start our thread at the uh, bead and work it back down to the bend in the hook. Come in and snip off that excess. As always, if you're gonna tie more of these, you can snip off more chenille, but I'm just tying this one, so I just got this one piece here. This is like the, the micro chenille. It's not small, I mean, it's it's tiny. I like using this just because it's, it wiggles around more in the water, I feel like. So you're gonna go ahead and take your chenille. Now, for me, I, I've explained this in past videos. I have, I don't know if you wanna call it a phobia or what, but. I always feel like if it's too long, the fish is gonna bite that back part of it and not take like the hook. So I don't like to make mine too short, but you kind of just gotta guess this or or do it based on your preference. But I like mine to be sort of long so that it will wiggle, but not enough so that that I think that, or I don't have confidence that when the fish takes it, it's gonna be in their mouth. And then just give it that like five tight wraps there you also want to make sure you have enough because when we're done with this, we're going to actually uh, just get a flame from a lighter near that tip just to burn it so the uh, chenille doesn't fray. But so it's going to get a little bit shorter. But at this point, you can go ahead and just move your chenille up front out of the way. 
and just bring your thread up to the top of the bead there and I just like to make a nice thread wrap base and make it all even and then you can grab this piece of it and I just wrap it up making sort of like sort of like you would for the green weenie just make touching wraps there nothing fancy and once you get towards the top here again we don't want to crowd the bead too much with the chenille because then you have a, a weird buildup of your thread so as soon as it touches the bead basically I come in with my thread cut that off there give it a few tight wraps and then we'll come in with our scissors and snip out this chenille and then again no uh, not too much bulk we're, we're not creating too much bulk with the thread so we're gonna come in as soon as we cut that off with the whip finisher and just build up a hot spot until we like it and then once we like that hot spot we'll go ahead and pull that tight and we can snip off the excess thread so already I mean this fly is super quick and super effective so I mean already we the fly is basically done at this point you could just burn the tip of this uh, with a lighter and then call it done but we'll add the the UV cure resin at the end basically just come in here you don't want to put it right on it and just kind of slowly work it closer until it starts to melt you'll see it melt and then as soon as it like catches fire just a tiny bit I go ahead and blow it out you'll get like this little uh, burnt tip or like frosted tip look so you'll know that it's it's not gonna fray from there. Like always, we'll come in with our UV cure and just put a little bit on those thread wraps so that they don't come undone. And this is the Thin uh, Solar Res. I'll link this in the description if you guys wanna pick this up. I like the Thin because it's just much easier to work with. When you put it on top, it flows down the sides by itself and kinda engulfs the whole area that you would want this to be on anyway. We'll go ahead and give it a shot of UV and then this fly is basically done. All you gotta do now is fish it. And I'll leave a link in the description. I was talking about this flashlight in my last video, uh, this UV light. I like the, I don't like the ones on the fly shops. They're just, I think they're too weak, but I'll leave a link in the description for this one. You guys can check this out. It's pretty strong. It has like 30 LEDs in it or something. And I mean, you could feel the heat come off of this thing when you turn it on, so. But yeah, that's that's it. Uh, super effective fly, super simple. You could tie a bunch of these within literally like 10 minutes and be ready to fish. I put the heavy bead on it just because when I'm using these flies, I usually like to use them in like dirty water, so it's probably up and running or like deeper runs. Just use these as a, sort of like a stone fly replacement if I don't want to throw a stone fly. You could definitely tie this with a smaller bead, smaller hook, and even like without a bead to use in like shallower water, but it's just my preference. I, like I said, I use them as like stone fly replacements or like the flies that I use to get down to like deeper, deeper runs or something like that. So that's gonna be it for this one. And again, if you want to send me an email with a materials list or describing some sort of fly, once I get those entries, I will go ahead and start making videos of those, just tying whatever I come up with based on the material list that you guys get. And then I'll probably end up just mailing out the fly to you guys and you guys can let me know what you think of it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you wanna see more fly tying videos and more fishing videos. Let me know if you guys would be into any other type of videos that you might not see me doing. Leave a like on the video and leave any comments uh, let me know what you thought of this video. And until next time, peace.